we are going to cut out a little bit extra meat of the windscreen today. We're going to cut a little bit out of the top there. I think it requires it. Just up the top here, I'm going to increase that a little bit more. Make it easier for us to put a piece of metal, sheet metal in there. Like that. Morning, by the way. So I'll cut a piece, drill a hole in it, put a screw. Thinking, churning things over in my brain for a new day. All right. Let's get into it. Yeah. All right, it's not perfect, but the little rebate there to sit that in here, this side, this side here. So that'll be there, and then we'll put a little piece in here. This is a hard one here. I'm going to have to, I'm going to use the curved floor, a bit of the floor panel that's already got a curve in it for that there, maybe. Got a piece up top ready to go for that. That there, this side isn't a, isn't too bad a shape actually. We might cut a piece through here and then just bring it down slowly until it fits. In theory, good idea, but um, hmm, sound like a good idea, but I don't know if that's going to work. It'll be just as easy to make a piece like this and bend it, maybe. Oh fuck! I got all in here to do too. I forgot about that. God, there's a lot of work to do. Slow and steady wins the race. <laughs> We have got pieces made for here. We've got a somewhat bendy bit for the corner here that goes in there. It'll be a little bit of um, push and shove to get that in right. But again, we're going to put those on with the glue and then we'll fill the gaps and the voids with the glue. Sets nice and hard. Uh, as I said, I've got the top one ready to go. We've got the ones for the A pillars. I've got a couple of little tiny bits that I'm going to glue in. Then we'll bog up over that later. That here, there's going to be a little bit of an issue with this floor pan. This piece here, this piece on the side, this piece right here, is still in the truck from the original floor. This is, would have been how it was made. I don't want to cut that piece off because I'm going to have to butt weld and there's like filler on top here, like a, a sealant. So what I wanted to do was use that flange, so to speak, and weld through it onto the original body, which works. But the problem is it's pushing everything over a couple of mil, three, four, five mil. So this is not sitting properly on these ridges and it's all leaning this way, it's putting it off a little bit. So what I'm going to have to do is wedge this up and weld it on down underneath first, tack it. Then uh, with force, bend it down and that should fit. That'll enable me to get over enough to fit on here, I hope, I think. That's the plan there. I'm about to wire wheel the good side of the car. Mickey Rooney. It ain't pretty, but we've cut ourselves using the floor pan off cuts from this side. They're not exactly the same, but they'll do, I'll glue them and then tap them down later into a bit better shape. So we've got those done and any other holes, I'm gonna just um, bog over with the panel adhesive. We'll glue all of this on when we glue all of these other bits on everywhere. So it's been a good nearly two days of fiddly stuff, but hopefully it's paid off in the end. Yeah, so another day down. I could do a little more, but I, I need to do some running around. I don't want to make noise anymore on the weekends if I can help it. It's particularly grinding and cutting. That's why I've done it today. So maybe I can keep working over the weekend, gluing on Saturday. Then we start bogging on Sunday, perhaps. All right, see you tomorrow. 
another day has dawned and I've been fiddling in there for about a bloody hour because I'm just not going to start. I have, however, done a little bit of practice yesterday on the uh, offcuts of the sheet metal. It's amazing how much easier it is when you've got clean uh, sheet metal. Yeah, I'm pretty, pretty happy with that. Because I bashed that bracket off, I think I've changed the shape of this slightly and she's on a little bit of a rock and roll. So I'm gonna have to do this back corner up here first, me believes. I'll tack underneath. And then we'll try and you see I just don't know where to where to put this. Anyway, we get start and we'll see how we go. I've put marks here and there. I'm gonna run some panel adhesive in between. Same on this, same all the way around, and then we'll start. The holes don't seem to be working. I don't think I'm getting enough bite into the metal underneath, so I'm just tacking it along the sides here. At least it's holding there now. So I'm gonna keep tacking wherever I can. We'll see how we go. Let me tell you a little story. So, because this was out of shape, I managed to get a lot of this down, but then this corner popped up. Even though I'd welded it, it obviously didn't weld strong enough. So what I've done is I've put the panel adhesive all the way around and I've managed to put the old jack in here and push it down and I'm going to let that set. It should be strong and hard enough. There is a couple of welds there, a few here and here, to hold that. Let's, let's hope that happens. <laughs> and I've also done underneath the same way. Filled in all of the holes and any gaps. We've no, basically Sally's no more gaps that with the body uh, panel adhesive. Underneath, let's have a look. Under the car, we you can see where I've run the panel adhesive along here. I did tack along here. I tacked on top of the body mount and put glue on that as well. I do have to, oh, there's some on my finger. I managed to get it on everything as usual. So now that's in as good as it's going to get for now. Oh, it's on my phone. It's right there on my phone. I have not managed to film any of this. I'll, I'll get onto what else I've done, but. It's everywhere, so I've had to have my hands available to mush it into the corners and into the holes. I've got a little bit more gluing to do. Where are we? A little bit more gluing to do on that side. We'll get onto that in a minute. My dad popped in too, so I've been a little busy having a chat with the old man. That's why. Let's have a look around the windscreen. <gasps> Ta da! We have our pieces in. Looks pretty bloody good. As that tacks off, I'll, I'll try and mold it a little bit more. Our holes up here we've filled in for now. There's our piece in here. Again, as it tacks off the glue, I'll, I'll re-configure um, it with my magic tool here, or this tool, I don't know which one. We've gone through all the little splits. And uh, as it tacks and hardens, I'll literally just, oh, there we go, that one's already tacking off a little bit. Same on this side. As I said the other day, I've put some rust converter inside the split. There's a seam here. I put a uh, panel adhesive in there and I've clamped it together. I've glued the piece in this uh, A-pillar here that had the hole in it. This one, we have glue in it. It's better check. Yeah, it's better. I just got to keep checking it as it tacks off. So let me clean up and we'll set the camera up. Finish that last bit in the passenger side uh, floor pan. underneath flatten out any of the stuff that's run through and call it a day and then we'll come back tomorrow and check it all hopefully the floor stays in position it's not pretty but 
it's in. Alright. See you in the morning. G'day there, how are we? Hope you slept well. I know I did because I've got the majority of this now sealed up. That hump, it just keeps eluding me, but I think I'm getting there. So, I've already been up this morning, as you can see, tinkering away on the old Ningi Nugget. Let's have a look at the results of yesterday's patchwork. This is what it's sort of gonna look like. So we've got a few little high and low spots that I can even out. There's a couple of tiny, where are we? A couple of really small holes still here so i'm going to run another skim of that um, panel adhesive on here where the big hole was here that's all solid now but it's it's a little bit inward so i'm going to fill that again so i can sand it back all right coming in on this side very nice in the corner there i'll have to do all on top here i need a little bit of sanding and reshaping but that part's, that part's real nice. We've got the hole is, there's one little hole right there. What I'm also going to do, I'm thinking about doing is uh, putting a piece of metal across here where it's missing with um, a couple of clamps, then filling that with the panel adhesive just to re-establish this and this one here. But I have to do a lot of sanding there, it's pretty good. I might sand along that. The floor, I'm not going to look at that yet because I still want about a 24 hour cure period on that. I forgot to rust treat the passenger side before I glued on those pieces. No biggie, I'll just have to work around them, but I should have done that first. Uh, my bad, so I'll run some rust converter on that this morning, finish that off, and we'll be repainting that as well. So sorry I didn't cook off with these this morning, but I was a bit excited and wanted to try and see how that would sand up. I'm gonna continue with the sanding and then fill it again in a few spots. What are you, what are you, what are you looking at? What are you waiting for? Might have to use the grinder on this. I just realised when I was doing this, I've got some rust underneath here that I've still got to treat, so I'm going to do that now. So we'll treat it, hand sand it, and then we'll fill in the rest of the holes. Do one this for. Actually, if I feel inside there, that, that is all in pretty good condition. All right, that's been hit. While I've got this stuff out, let's do the floor that I was meant to do yesterday. have an issue I run out of the panel bond but I do have the Sika uh, curing automotive sealant and would you believe it I just took this off <laughs> anyway um, that should break off and be usable so what I'm thinking is uh, I've, I've, the substrate's done it's, it's, it's solid so I might use this to fill instead of the panel adhesive. Same shit really. It still sticks in an adhesive and oh we improved fast over paintability, resistant to aging, low odor, can be sanded. Can be sanded. Uh, bonds well. There you go, to a variety of substrates. So what I'm gonna use is this instead of buying another sixty dollars worth of the panel adhesive. I still can't get over that. I've never seen that happen before. At least I can reuse this. All right, let me cut that off and we'll use this.
Guys and girls, I am liking the look of this. That looks friggin' awesome. What the fuck's going on? It's the posty takeover. <laughs>